Good morning. We're getting ready to go on an epic adventure ride. Me and the boys, this is my son-in-law's bike. 250 Rally. My bike, 300L. And we're gonna meet up with my son. He's riding a 450, Yamaha 450F. And we'll get some more videos. And this is, uh, it's going to be a day of riding, doing some road riding, hitting Perry, and uh, going to have some fun. Okay, we're getting for our big ride. This is my boy's bike. Made it street legal. New tire on the back. There's the crew right there. There's the bikes. So, there we go. We're going to do some riding. Big adventure of the day. Here's the here's the two guys going to ride with me if you can see them. Oh yeah. Uh, hey. Right there. Hopefully we don't get stuck in the woods. I'm happy. Oh, I don't have my safety glasses on. Can't see what's going on. All right. We'll get back with you when we get somewhere. We made it to Buckeye Lake. About halfway to Perry. We're doing all right, right by the lake, by the canal. So, having fun. Cool looking vehicle right there. We made it to Perry. Everybody's taking a little break here before we get out on the trail. The bikes did good. Bike sticking excellent. So we're in the parking lot of Perry. There's a lot of riders out here. But, but we'll see. There's the bikes. All ready to roll. New tires on them. We'll have to get some some riding footage. So here we go. Gonna be a good time. Here comes, here comes one of my riding buddies. Here comes my boy. And he stalled it. Oh. <laughs> no, he did not make it. Oh. <laughs> you need a hand? focus there a little bit he made it cruise right up there on the rally well they didn't make it up that little hill not enough momentum they're turning around going to try it again i'll get you when they're trying it again Here comes derek Oh. 
Oh no! This is a lot harder work than it used to be, but it's fun. Whew. Still one piece. Happy about that. <sighs> got to do now is head back home with about three and a half hours at, at Perry we're pretty tired a little sore and uh, got air up our tires but my suspension worked nice Great there worked very nice. The tires work good. All in all, a very good day. So we'll get home. We got about an hour ride home. Get home and uh, clean up the bike and hopefully we make it home okay. Well, we didn't make it very far. Woo, it started cold. hailing on us. Very cold. Now we're wet, cold, and probably bruised. Maybe we'll get home tonight. I know at the freeway they'd have sweatshirts. <laughs> We had to make another pit stop. Now we're at Walmart trying to get hold of some dry clothes. It's freezing to drop like 20, 25 degrees. Rain and hail. Just another jamming adventure. <laughs> we'll make it home sometime. Well, we had our first ride yesterday, and uh, it was a doozy. We spent about three and a half hours in the woods riding at Perry, and uh, it was a good time, good time. We had an hour and a half ride there on the road, 
about three and a half hours of Perry and an hour and a half ride back. We got stuck in the rain. It was a it was a challenging ride home. We had some hail. Temperature dropped from like 85 to 90 to 65 by the time we got home. It was cold. We had to stop at Walmart, get some rain gear. All in all, a great adventure. The bike performed great. I put the new K-Tech shock on the back. Oh, I love it. Added a uh, spring in the front port. Uh, made a big difference. It's not so cushy anymore. It is uh, a lot stiffer. Rides nice. All in all, we had a good time. Uh, bike performed very well for what it is. I mean, and the rider that I am, I wish I was a better rider, but I'm not. Haven't done it in, oh, I don't know, 10 to 15 years. It's been a long time, but it was a good time. I'm going to go over some of my modifications. Let me get the camera here, switch around. My fuel tube, I had to add some fuel, so I pulled the fuel out of there nicely. Held up good. The skid plate for a 250 cleans up nicely. Held up nicely. This, like I said, the, the shock, the spring, the shock, all that nicely. And then my windshield for going down the road. I made that thing. I had a, that's, that's to hold my safety glasses when I'm going. I can't wear my safety glasses and my helmet. So, but I made that windshield out of some tubing, some flat stock, mounted it to my two different points on my handbars there or one on my handbar one on the the top of the shock air and one up there on the handlebar mount it holds up very well blocks the wind nicely very good riding in the like on the road the windshield itself came from a a uh, old Harley Davidson windshield my son-in-law's got a CRF 250L and I copied the pattern of the windshield kind of off of his but it turned out good I put a uh, put a radiator protector on there it worked out good I guess radiator didn't fall, fail so it was good put on the D Sport tires they worked way better than stock Put them on the front and the rear. But yeah, I am I'm very happy with the machine. For what it is, I mean, it's not a strictly dirt bike. It's a dual sport, and that's what I use it for. And I love it. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it we are we're going to do some more of that adventure stuff I gotta I gotta figure out a way to film while I'm riding a little bit uh, anybody's got any suggestions I'm I'm new into this and I'm looking for cheap to get started maybe buy something better later but for right now I just want something, maybe a GoPro mount to the helmet or something. I don't know what works out best. And sound. I want to be able to pick up some sound. So any suggestions there would be helpful. And then you got to see me doing a little bit of cleanup, power washing. That's always part of dirt bike riding. You got to you gotta clean it up. So I'll probably go spray things down with some WD-40 and put it away till the next time. So I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>